Whereas many members of the Battle Creek community have contributed their resources to this exhibition and its supporting events, including the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, the Battle Creek Community Foundation, the Marshall Community Foundation, the Rotary Club of Battle Creek, the Art Center of Battle Creek, the Battle Creek Symphony, the Willard Public Library, and hundreds of individual citizens. Now, therefore, I, John K. Godfrey III, Mayor of the City of Battle Creek, Michigan, do hereby proclaim the month of September 2005 as Hidden Children of the Holocaust Remembrance Month in the Greater Battle Creek area and urge citizens to remember the victims of the Holocaust and to take note of the events to be held in connection with the exhibition. Maybe uh, some people would feel it's better to forget what went on at that time in the history of, of mankind, in the history of the West. Uh, I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's important that we know, that our children know, and that our grandchildren know, so that it can never happen again. And I am delighted for that reason that this exhibit has come to Battle Creek, one of only three places in the United States. And I will encourage all of my friends and neighbors and constituents to come visit the Art Center and to see it. Thank you very much. In this diarist, this is a perfect example because she was in the Siedlitzer ghetto, which was deep in Poland, probably one of these places where you can't really find information out about the ghetto inhabitants. And so she witnessed an action or a taking of people in her town, including her own family members, while she was in hiding in an attic with her 9, 11-month-old child. And she comes out of the attic and realizes she has to put her child in hiding because her days are numbered, and she writes the account of what she witnessed, um, which is tragic. And in, this, in the diary, though, she actually states that she knows people are going to Treblinka. Well, we know that was written during the time period because she didn't survive the Holocaust. So we found that really interesting because that is really the only time that I've ever read that somebody in 1943 knows of Treblinka. So, um, so, but again, we have her account because she placed the baby in hiding and the diary in hiding, and the baby survived. I never hated. I did not know what hate was. Was. After I watched my mother die, I only was always very resentful. I can never forget or forgive. But hatred was not for one moment part of my life. And this is the way I led the rest of my life. I never told my children, when I, when I came to the United States, Mary never told my children of my past till 20 years ago. They were in college because I did not want them to hate through my hates. Now what 
wanted it to judge the world in their own eyes. I remember as a little boy when the Germans marched into our city. The fear I had. And it's a fear that has never left me. And as soon as the Germans came into our city, naturally they started to harass the Jewish population. Not because we were bad citizens, not because we had good women, but only sin was being Jewish. It made me stronger. It made me more aware of the pain that exists in the world. It made me teach my children that prejudice and hatred should not be part of our lives. That we should not live in a cocoon all by ourselves with our own satisfactions, that we own each other. A touch, help, and kindness. Some of us went to the Lies and Shadows exhibit at the Battle Creek Art Center. And, the, and Battle Creek can be very proud indeed to have brought it here. And I must also echo something that Jim said. I know that a group of people worked long and hard to make all this possible, and I've been delighted to meet some of them and really appreciate the warm welcome I was given. But in Los Angeles, my contact person throughout is Gigi Lincoln, through many, many emails. And Gigi, I know that if I had a big project of this kind, I would say a big project of any kind that I wanted to see succeed, or that I needed to see succeed, I would want you on my team. <laughs>